Good evening and welcome to the 5 o'clock news. I'm Camilla Ortiz. We've heard from Mayor Ted Wheeler and Portland Police Chief Chuck Lavelle about yesterday's mass shooting in downtown Portland. Well, now community members are laying out what they believe needs to be done to help curb gun violence. Fox 12's Bridget Chavez joins us live with that reaction from downtown Portland. Bridget. Yeah, Camilla, Lori Palmer, the founder of Go Get Your Child, a community violence prevention coalition, told me this months ago and again today, if city leaders don't bring community members to the table, this violence won't stop. The Portland community is mourning after a mass shooting downtown early Saturday morning left an 18-year-old woman dead and six others hurt. What I want to say to the family is we never prepare for anything like this. And I am saddened by your loss. The community is saddened by your loss. Lori Palmer is the founder of the Community Violence Prevention Coalition, Go Get Your Child. She knew the woman who was killed. I've been knowing her ever since she was a little girl, and she's a good girl, and she did not deserve what she got, and so I was saddened. I haven't been asleep all night. Portland police haven't released the victim's name yet, and the family is asking for privacy as they grieve this tragic loss. When stuff like this first happened, everybody's traumatized. Everybody wants to just look at what happened with the victim. But what we need to focus on is the living too and the family members that are left behind that are traumatized and they don't know how to deal with the trauma. In a span of 38 hours starting Friday, Portland Police Chief Chuck Lavelle says the city had 11 shooting incidents with 13 people either injured or killed. Palmer says while those numbers are hard to swallow, she's not surprised gun violence is running rampant in Portland. They're trying to solve all this themselves and they can't because they're law enforcement. She says community members and grassroots organizations that are working to stop the violence are still being left out of the conversation. Let the community sit at the table with you while you plan and how you are finna deal with our community members, our family members in the community. I mean, why have we not been called to the table? You can't make rules for us if you ain't talk to us and ask us what we need. You, you cannot do that. And that's why it's not going to work. And if you, if you or a family member or a friend has experienced gun violence and you need resources or help, Palmer says to go to her website and fill out the form there. Her and her team will contact you, and we posted that link online at kptv.com. Just click on this story. Live in Southwest Portland, Bridget Chavez, Fox 12, Oregon.